brother, sister, what's going on? Um, you know, my daughter, my youngest, um, she, uh, after I got her from school today, she was, she likes to talk about the solar system. She loves talking about the sun, the moon. She wants to be an astronomer. And I told her that she's on her way to being an astronomer because she is extremely brilliant. All right, she's extremely brilliant. And I'm not going to say extremely brilliant, brilliant from her age because we are literally ageless beings. You got to remember, we just, um, as we who are the souls of this realm, we always return. One thing that we return when we return, we come back to, when we, when we come back, we bring memories that we, memories and knowledge that we have from our past lives. And, you know, I'm so glad that as she grows up, I gave her, you know, just talk to her about the, the, the sun, the moon, the cosmos, the different energies. So she was talking to me about, um, the mainstream scientists from YouTube, and she said, you know, she was like, can I, she's like, um, according to the scientists, she said, according to the scientists, our planet cannot go supernova because, um, she said that our, she said the scientists said that our planet doesn't have the, the proper neutrinos to go supernova. And, um, when we talk about neutrinos, we're talking about the radioactive particles that um, make up the cosmos. All right, radioactive particles that 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 literally designs the cosmos, designs the sun. And you know, I told her, I told my daughter, I said, I said, well, I said, I plan to can go supernova. She's like, how? How can it go supernova when they say that it doesn't have the right amount of neutrinos? I say, you know, every time there's a coronal mass ejection, our sun is feeding our planet, feeding our realm, feeding all the realms, feeding our planet. And I told her, I said, when our sun goes supernova, so does the planet. So does the entire galaxy. And she says, okay. And then she starts to understand it a whole lot better so you know it's because you know she wants to be an astronomer so you know it, it, it's, it's important to understand what is happening right now and i told her i said you know there's been a massive amount of corona mass ejections i said these scientists have literally said that the sun is doing things that they've never seen it do before um and all they're watching and i and i told her i said this is evolution you know i call it ladybug i said ladybug this is this is evolution. This is this is our sun evolving, and as well as our planet. And then you know, I explained that you know we are children of the sun. That's so why I said you know, not only our planet will go supernova, but we will also go supernova, which we are um, soon to be going, as everything is is gearing to shift. So what you what you all must understand is that the mainstream scientists are literally trying to um they're trying their hardest to keep their people from going into a worry from going into a strain a stress or you know a, 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 something of that nature they're 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 working real hard to keep their people from you know going insane because it's like hey you know um these black folk get ready to go uh, 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 able to go supernova and we're not so what's what's going on and, and then that's the mainstream scientists say well no 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 our, our planet the planet can't go supernova because it don't have the proper amount of neutrinos to go supernova well the neutrinos are all throughout the cosmos and you know they call it radioactive de de radioactive decay is what they call it anytime you're dealing with um energies across the cosmos energies across the universe gal galactic energies there is nothing to decay all right that's number one all of this is carbon you know there's these radioactive particles these are extremely powerful particles of energy 
that um, are highly polarized, highly ionized, all right, highly radioactive, and they um, are full of carbon, they're full of ether, you know, they're full of all of the necessary um, elements that will take us into that next area of power, okay? So we have, um, our sun has been sending us massive amounts of neutrinos, all right? And they say, oh yeah, this, this, this radiation is hitting the planet. And this um, corona mass ejection is hitting the planet. You know, and these Saxons, what they want to do, they want to try to cool it off. And that's why we told them, say, no, it's coming to the point where you're not going to be able to cool off anything anymore. All right. And your money won't be able to buy you out of this, the, the shit that's getting ready to come to you. All right. So, you know, this that's why it's important for us to understand science. You know, science is the most important thing. So many of us don't understand what's going on. And, you know, I, like I, you know, I talk to my daughter and anytime she has a question, you know, I give her the information because she knows she can trust me, you know. And, you know, she knows that I'll never mislead her just like I'll never mislead you, brothers and sisters. All right. Because I know science, science and I am a true scientist. All right. You talk about a scientist, you talking about someone who uh, knows the different areas of life. You know, that's the whole part about science, you know, knowing the different areas of life, you know, and knowing how to operate and knowing, you know, different, different things to do. So as this energy is growing, so many of us are awakening. You know, my mom, you know, I was talking to my mom and she says, you know, she was talking about these Saxons and she said, she says, she says, I don't know why I feel this way. She said, I, I just, she said, it's just a, 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 a hatred I have for them. She's like, I just want to grow some long, sharp nails and just dig into them and rip their flesh to pieces. And I told my mom, I said, you are carrying the burdens of the ancestors just like all the rest of us are. So you you carrying the burdens of the ancestors. I say you carrying their burdens, you carrying their pain. And I was like, and I told her, I said, you know, that that day is coming where we will literally render justice for all of our people. So, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, I, I see it as well. You know, my mom, you know, she was, she was talking to me and she said, you know, that last message that you did, she was like, she says, um, I could see that. She said, she said, that it, and, and this message was talking about the delivery. She says, and I've been having dreams of, uh, uh, of them with, with, uh, and, and, and she says the energy was so high they eyes would just pop out of their head and, and they start bleeding and gushing blood from their ears I'm like wow I'm like wow now one thing that my mother and my wife both had were dreams of little boys and my wife had told me the first time and she, you know, I was like, okay, well, maybe my oldest is going to have an, another child or whatever. And then I was like, no, 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 no. Cause she's, you know, she's, she's, um, nope, nope. She's not going to be, she's not having no, no children too soon. And then my mother had this, the same dream. And it's kind of crazy cause both of them had the same dream on the same day. So, um, I told my mom, I said, you know what? That's the birth of the masculine energy. I said, we are the masculine energy. That feminine energy was already birthed, all right? That feminine energy was already birthed. I said, we have that masculine energy. And it's that masculine energy that's that's coming to life, that's, that has, that's being born. And I was like, this is what's taking place right now at this present moment. So that masculine energy, that's what the, is, is being born. And those neutrinos that's coming in, those cosmic winds, because you got to remember now that's our, um, now that that electromagnetic belt around our planet is gone, okay? Now that that electromagnetic belt is gone, that's around the planet, um, 
that lets leads ways for um, cosmic energy to come in for cosmic winds. All right, and those cosmic winds are carrying heavy levels of all types of particles and all types of elements that are necessary for our celestial growth. All right. Extremely important information, brothers and sisters. Extremely important information. So just know that when our sun goes supernova, we go supernova as well. All right? It's important. Now, I just want to um, share with you guys real quick. Neutrinos. The neutrino is a uh, is perhaps the best named particle um, in the standard model of particle physics. It's tiny, neutral, and weight so little that no one has been able to measure its mass. Um, neutrinos are the most abundant particles that have mass in the universe. I'm talking about across the cosmos. Okay? That's what neutrinos have. Um, neutrinos play a role in many fundamental aspects of our lives. They are produced in nuclear fusion processes that powers the sun and the stars. And the stars and the planets up there, okay? Um, they are produced in radioactive decays that provide a source of heat inside our planet and they are produced in nuclear reactors all right our planet naturally has nuclear reactors all right and your your natural nuclear reactors that's within the planet are known as volcanoes volcanoes are nothing but natural nuclear reactors is what they are um and they're also um, earthquakes, their nuclear reactors within the planet. Remember, you said the earthquakes are nothing but colossal plasma uh, uh, energy discharges that, you know, boom. And when the, as these discharges are happening, you got the gas that's coming up from it, from, from, from that, from that huge, um, um, extremely powerful discharge, and that gas is coming up and it breaks the ground open, and the gas is flowing. It causes the brown, the ground to seem like it's rolling, because that's nothing but you know just just gas from these co these colossal freaking plasma discharges. All right, so neutrinos are charging up the neutrinos from our our galactic sun, and neutrinos from. Our universe and the cosmos are charging up our planet and we will soon go supernova, brothers and sisters. You can feel that's energy. So tap into this energy and the more um, conscious you become of this here, the more you're going to find that um, you're nothing but nature and you're nothing but power. You have power within you and the power on the outside of you. Link the macro energy into the micro energy and you will find yourself and a whole nother level of power and energy. All right, brothers and sisters. I'll catch you guys later. Just wanted to share that with you. All right. We will soon go supernova. That's a beautiful thing. Supernova is a beautiful thing, brothers and sisters. All right. Catch you guys later. Much power to you all.